This video is on transformations of step functions, and we're going to look at the parent function. So the parent function of a step function is f of x equals the greatest integer of x, where the little brackets represent greatest integer. The graph is a step function, where it's just kind of the stair step pattern. Um, you do have one side where it's a closed circle, the other side's open. Remember, closed means it does include the point. Open, it does not include the point. Domain is all real numbers. You can plug in any x value. So there's not a restriction on x. However, range is all integers. Because no matter what I plug in, I will always get out an integer. Say I plugged in 0 0.5 for x. Greatest integer of 0 0.5 is 0. Because 0 is the largest integer that is less than or equal to 0 0.5. So in this specific um, step function, the range will always be all integers. All right, transformations of the parent function. We have f of x equals a times the greatest integer of bx minus h plus k. So a, the number that's multiplied outside the greatest integer brackets, it will represent the height of the step. So the distance between the two steps, they can increase so they're further apart or decrease so they're closer together. So the height between steps increases by a factor of a if a is greater than one. So say that a was two, the distance between the steps will be two times what it is normally in the parent function. So you can always refer back to the parent function. The height between steps decreases by a factor of a if a is less than 1. So say it was 1 half, multiplying by 1 half on the outside. The distance between the steps would decrease by a half. b is a little different. The number multiplied by x between the brackets, so inside the brackets, this is the length of the step. So the actual length of each step could increase or it could decrease and become shorter. So the length of steps increases by a factor of b if b is less than 1. So this one's a little tricky. So if b is, say, 1 half, so that's less than 1, the length of the step will actually increase by 2. The length of the step decreases by a factor of b if b is greater than 1. So say that b is 2 the length of the step will actually decrease by 2. So you can think of it, it divides it in half by 2. You could also think of this, the, if it was 1 half, it would divide it in half, but divide it by 1 half, which would be the same thing as multiplying by 2. So the letter B and the letter A are very different of how they affect the graph. All right, H is a Translation right h units if it's x minus h inside. Translation left h units if it's x plus h inside. And k, the value added on outside. Translation up k units if it's x plus k. Translation down k units if it's minus k. And remember, this would have the greatest integer bracket around but just so you can see that plus or minus. If you want to put the bracket around, you can. All right, so I'm going to give you some different descriptions of transformations, and we're going to first cre create some of the functions together, then I'll let you do some on your own. So increase the length of a step by a factor of three. So increasing, so it gets longer. Remember, this is the one where it's kind of reverse. So dividing by three is the same thing as multiplying by one third. So we have f of x is equal to the greatest integer of one third x. So translate two units right and translate three units down. So we have f of x equals the greatest integer of x. Moving two right is minus two. That's inside the brackets. Moving three down is minus three outside the bracket. 
All right, increase the height between steps by a factor of two. Translate four units left. So we have f of x is equal to, remember the height is a number multiplied outside by a factor of two, so it's times two. Two times the greatest integer of, translation left is inside, so we have x left four would be plus four. Close the greatest integer bracket. Okay, and here are three problems. Go ahead and create the functions. You can pause the video here and come on back for the answers. All right, so the first one, translation one unit up. We have f of x equals the greatest integer of x plus one outside. Remember, up is outside. All right, increase height between steps by a factor of four. Translate three units right. So we have f of x equals height is always outside, so times four on the outside greatest integer of x, whoops, x, translate three units right is minus three. Close that bracket. And last one, translate five units left and translate two units up. So we have f of x equals the greatest integer, so five left, x plus five inside, and two up, plus two outside. All right, last thing, looking at graphs of different greatest integer functions, so each of these would represent a different function, you need to see which one of these graphs represents the function given though. So two times the greatest integer of x minus three. So this one's a little more tricky than some of the other types of graphs because you don't just have points, you actually have a whole step that moves. So you can look at the transformations or you can always pick a point, plug it in and see where the value should be. So let's do it that way and then we can look back and identify what's happening. So if I plug in x is zero, zero minus three, so I'm just gonna plug in where x is zero, get out y. Zero minus three is negative three. Greatest integer of negative three is negative three. Two times negative three is negative six. So when x is zero, y should be negative six, that's not it. When x is zero, y is negative six, that point looks correct. When x is zero, y is not negative six, so it has to be b. So we can kind of look at what's happening here. I'm going to zoom in on this. And we can see that based upon our function, the height between steps increases by a factor of two. And we're moving our graphs three to the right. So if I look at where my original step of the parent function. It started, the parent function always starts close circle from zero to open circle at one. And I can see if that was where it started, it would move over one, two, three. So yes, that did move over three. And the distance between the steps did increase by a factor of two. All right, so I have one for you to try. This one's a little tricky. f of x equals the greatest integer of 1 half x plus 1 plus 4. You can, again, pick a point to plug in and then see if it works. Go ahead and try it. Come on back for the answer. All right, so if you ch chose, again, x is 0, it's an easy point to plug in. Okay, 1 half times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Greatest integer of one is one, and one plus four is five. So when x is zero, y is five, that one doesn't work. When x is zero, y is one, two, nope. When x is zero, y is one, two, three, four, five. So c did work. Okay, so let's look at what's going on. 
All right, the length of the step. Remember, you can think of it as dividing by one half. So the length increases by two. We move plus one. Remember, that's left one. Plus four is up four. Okay, so if my original graph, I'm gonna zoom in on this one. If I had started with my original point going between, or my original step going between zero and one. Okay, it increased by a factor of two, so it now goes between zero and two. I said it needs to move left one and up four. One, two, three, four. So that one does work. It's just a little more tricky to really look at the transformations. So I do suggest that you pick a point, see which graph works, and then you can always go back and double check yourself. And yes, we could see that the transformations worked. Hopefully you now can identify transformations of step functions when you are comparing it to the parent function.